hey there everybody how's uh how's things going where have we been i don't know let me uh let me show you something yeah that's what's going on here new uh new addition to the family little boy 19 and a half inches long eight pounds eight ounces they uh they wouldn't let me hold him up like a bass at the uh hospital i don't know why I was trying to uh show off my personal best but maybe that'll come later but uh got some work to do tonight had uh had some stuff happen today i want to show you so sit back relax and check this out
Yeah, Bubba.
All right, deck's cleaned. Get ready to throw uh, different blades on it. That deck was, uh, that was nasty. That was needing it. It, uh, I don't think I've done it yet this year. I've been cutting for two weeks now. It's the first time I've scraped that deck. You could tell that uh, a lot of that stuff was just caked on there. Um, normally I scrape the deck once a week. I don't know how often you guys do it. This time of year, I could probably get away with doing it every other day, if not every day. Um, blades, I change my blades once a week, sometimes more, just depending on how much growth we've got and what all's going on uh, with the grass. But getting ready to throw these new blades on it, I'm gonna go, I know it's probably not the uh, wisest choice, but I am going with the Xmark uh, mulching blades these are just um factory x mark hybrid um grass right now is growing like wildfire that it's to be expected in the spring a lot of these yards we're cutting are fertilized and i mean we've had steady rain last couple of days it's been really nice we've had 73 yesterday and i think it was like 85 today which is great uh nice evening right now tomorrow supposed to be back up in the 70s but then saturday we got a bunch of rain coming so trying to get everything in in the next day and a half i guess tomorrow would be the last day um but yeah throw these uh mulching blades on it real quick and uh go from there anti-seize you'll thank me later All right, so I know scraping deck, and I said deck, deck, eh, eh, deck. Scraping deck and uh, changing blades is fun and all, but uh, had uh, had a breakdown today. Something I uh, didn't prepare for. Probably could have done uh, a little better planning, especially going into uh, the start of the season. But... Uh, Check this out. 
turf tracers in the garage. Um, here you go. Look at that. Anybody want to guess what that is? Nope, you're wrong. It's a drive belt. Deck belt's fine. It's actually uh, not the main drive belt. It's the uh, intermediate belt. Let me see if I can find the light. It's the intermediate belt that goes between the crank pulley and the clutch. Uh, let's see if I can get you up underneath of here and see. Hopefully. Uh. I'm sure you can see it, but uh, oh, yes. that pulley right there is supposed to have a belt on it. And it doesn't. It uh, let loose on me in the middle of a backyard today. Is it that top one back there? Yeah. I knew. It uh, it sucked to say the least, because I was in the middle of the backyard, made like two passes. I could smell the rubber burning, and then all of a sudden it just stopped moving. Um, but uh, yeah, fantastic way to start the season. Thankfully, I still have. Come on, focus. There it is. Still have that, plus I've got uh, the 30 inch mowers, the X Mark and the Toro. Um, I've got a call in to the dealer, see if they've got the belt for me. If anything, I'll run it up there tomorrow, drop it off, have them take care of it, and then uh, pick it back up on Saturday when it's raining. Like I said, I don't plan on mowing it all on Saturdays. Hello, Wyatt. Hello. Um, don't plan on mowing at all on Saturday. It's because of the rain we're going to get. But, yeah. Right now, it's out of commission. This goes back to that whole no time for downtime thing. I mean, how do you plan for a broken belt? I guess I could have one on hand. But, the more I look at that, I don't think it's something I could do myself. It uh, looks like you have to take the clutch off, remove uh, the tension arm down there to get to that pulley that comes off of the drive. I mean, I could probably snake it up through and get it onto the crank pulley, but as far as getting it onto that back pulley, there's, there's no way without tearing it off of there. So, you know, thankfully the dealer I've got a pretty good relationship with them. I should be able to uh, drop it off, have them take a look at it. Hopefully they got the belt in stock. I, I don't know. Um, if anything, I'll just be push mowing next week or two or however long it takes before they can get the belt. It's gonna suck, but it's how it goes sometimes. You just, uh, just have to go with the punches. Start of the season, everything's been going great. You know, we just had the baby. Life couldn't be better, and then all of a sudden this happens. But honestly, if this is the worst thing that happens, so be it. You know, I, I, I can't complain. Everything's just kind of buzzing right along. We lost two customers last year, and last week I had, or we lost two customers from last year, and I had one of them hit me up late last week, said, hey, I need you back so you know things are going good on that end i did uh i did raise prices this year it uh it had to be done to keep up with the inflation that's going on i'm sure you guys are seeing it everywhere honestly i was expecting more people to drop off but they didn't stuck with me I actually talked to a few of them that uh small business owners like myself and they were saying that they're getting ready to raise their prices and they were taking uh, taking my email that I sent out and taking some cues from it to send out to their customers.
Got a sketchy looking car pulling up down here. Yep, they're moving on. Probably wise on their part. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah. So what's going on here. Start of the season. New baby. Things couldn't be better. Hopefully you guys are uh, prospering just as well. You know, Wyatt out here, he's looking at me wanting to ride the mower, but it's starting to get dark, so we're not going to do that tonight. Actually, he's got... What do you have? He's got like little forceps or something. I don't know if he's getting ready to perform surgery or pull a tooth. I don't know. It's hard to say. He had baseball tonight. Did pretty good. All right, guys. Signing off for the night. It's, uh, it's actually a really nice night tonight. Um, run in. Food's here. Go get some pizza and some wings. Make a joke about it. Uh, go get some WAP wings and pizza. Not what you were thinking. Hey, good morning. It's the next day. Running, uh, running up to Columbus. Take the mower up there. I uh, talked to my guy last night. He said he'd be in. He was uh, checking this morning to see if they had a belt for me. He's like, either way, bring it in. He goes, uh, if we don't have one, we can get one ordered. Um, before you get here, that way you're not without it for very long. So, yeah. How's uh, how's this morning going? We, uh, looking at another beautiful day. Was uh, watching the weather this morning. Earlier in the week, they were talking about uh, rain coming about 2 o'clock, but now they're showing uh, nothing until about 6, so if it holds off like that, we should be able to get everything finished and uh, be able to take tomorrow off and not have to worry about uh, trying to get stuff done in the storms that are coming. But uh, but yeah, this, uh, this kind of thing happens. I mean, there's not much you can do about it. You're gonna, you're gonna break belts, you're gonna bend blades. I mean, remember last year, about the middle of summer, I was out cutting rather tall grass and uh, you know the sleeves that go inside of the hitches on the new uh, the new trucks they've got that really big opening in the hitch and you've got to put that sleeve in there to, to you know fill the gap to take a regular sized hitch um, actually ran over one of those launched it uh, I would say every bit 40 to 50 feet out of the deck um, thankfully nobody was around because if that would have hit I mean I, I'd be like getting hit with a uh, bowling ball as much force that that thing came out of there with but it ended up bending two of the blades and uh, you know thankfully that situation I was prepared I've got extra blades but the bad thing is I don't carry them with me maybe I should I know I've seen uh, a handful of guys on here and some of the guys I know they carry little on the go toolkits for uh with them carry like a small impact and sockets and stuff like that in, in case of a situation such as that one where you've got to change a blade on the fly um yeah it's probably something i'll look into this year and carry everything else with you but if you don't have a toolkit to get yourself going when you're down in the field and kind of screws up your whole day um but yeah guys sit uh sit tight we're running up here hopefully they can get it taken care of for me and then uh we'll be back back to it if not i guess i'll be push mowing
right, I'm back. Just, uh, just left the uh, shop, dealer, whatever you want to call them, and uh, guess what? He got it fixed. They, uh, they had the belt. It was the last one uh, in stock, so thankfully uh, had that available. He uh, started tearing it apart and actually found the reason the belt broke. The pulley that rides on the clutch shaft um, actually sheared the keyway. Um, sheared the keyway and then it seized up on there. And uh, that's what caused that uh, belt to break. I guess it once it stopped moving, that belt started smoking and heat it. Yeah belt heated up and then uh was all downhill from there he did show me on that keyway there was uh some marring and some some damage and he's like uh well because we can do two things you can order a new one because i know we don't have this part in stock or i can open it up a little bit work it around and uh, make it work for you i'm like make it work I can't be without it for that long. So a couple hours later, back on the road, turf tracers running and uh, driving. So getting ready to get back out to it. It's running back into town here to start uh, start cutting for the day. So let's see what happens.